Orleans Rinat is my favourite apple. Uh, it's difficult to make a judgment which is your very favourite thing, whether wine or a piece of music or holiday destination or work of art um, or anything else where you've got a choice. And of course it depends on season, it depends on company, it depends on all sorts of things. Uh, but this is, I think, the apple that I think brings it all together um, very nicely. Uh, it probably originated in France, we don't know for certain, it's been in, grow, it's been in cultivation for probably 300 years. It's reasonably disease resistant. Um, I showed a video earlier with uh, this next to a uh, uh, another variety and uh, certainly there's a lot less apple scab on this than there was on the other. Um, it's a very attractive colour when it's uh, fully ripe. Uh, it make, can make a reasonably large apple. Uh, it's very good to cook with. It's very good in salads. If you're going to cook apple with uh, sausages or pork um, or anything else. If you want uh, a, a richly flavoured apple to eat with some cheese um, Edward Barnyard, the famous um, gourmet writer who gave us the book The Anatomy of Dessert, uh, getting up 100 years ago now. Um, this was his favourite apple, and he was a wealthy bon viveur who um, really enjoyed his food and um, who was a member of an orchard dynasty in Kent. So he, uh, he was in a good position to you know, taste every kind of apple that was available. This was his favourite. It's a reasonably good cropper. It's not the heaviest crop in apple there is. Um, and some years you don't get a very good crop, but we've found it's quite a good cropper for us. I mean, you know, look at that. That is a decent amount. This is, this is a seven-year-old tree and it's carrying maybe 50 apples um, for about, uh, uh, about eight or nine kilograms maybe a bit more than that, there's a tree next to it looking pretty good. Uh, you pick it when it's ripe, which is probably about second week of September for us. As I keep saying, it may be later for you, you need to check and see when the apples part from the tree readily. Uh, just turning that, that's not parting from the tree, oh it's just come off there. We've got settled weather on the weather forecast for the next few days, so we're going to try and leave these a little bit longer before we pick them into storage. Um, it's at its best in probably October, November, maybe December. We do try to keep a few um, for Christmas and enjoy them with some fine old vintage port as, um, uh, as Edward Barnyard recommended. So, Orleans Renette, this is the most highly favoured uh, apple for eating or cooking in France, which is generally thought to be the country that takes its culinary delights most seriously. Uh, so if you really want to grow a gourmet apple of very rich quality for eating raw or for cooking, Orléans Rinette must be very, very close to the top of your list. It is at the top of my list.